Morning guys. Well, we're just in the uh, duck house and uh, checking on the uh, the new nest. And there's one there, and there's two there. None in the other couple. As you can see, what Pi's done though, she put some uh, sort of feathers and bits and pieces in it just to soften it up. And uh, yeah, it's um, it's working. They're now starting to lay in a, a couple of the boxes, so give them a little bit of time, and uh, I think it'll be just fine. Pie's just getting a load of eggs over there. They do like to lay down here though, but it means you've got to rummage through all the soft material. You okay there, babe? Yeah? Just gonna go and check on the eggs and see if we got any hatched. Not yet. <laughs> it is a waiting game. Well, yesterday I was talking about the old pond and what my father-in-law would like to do. This project really depends on the success of the new pond and in terms of uh, how much we can harvest and what profit we make from the fish. If there's enough, then uh, we'll take the, uh, the old pond here. My father-in-law wants to uh, dismantle the shack and bring the pond to this line. It will then uh, be extended all here as well and into this piece of land here. Now this piece of land goes right to there, all the way along here, all the way around to the shrubbery just there, and all the way along that line there. It'll basically add nearly a third to the, to the pond. What they want to do is farm a different variety of fish. They're really, really small, um, but they're very easy to sell apparently, so, uh, We'll see what happens. We'll see um, how our new pond gets on and whether we can make enough money from it. And then we'll plough all the profits into uh, this for mum and dad. It'll help them. Like I said, you know, I'd like to see it uh, get to a, a point where we move away from the um, tobacco, uh, corn and rice. It's just way too much work and there's nothing in it. And it's just heartbreaking to see these folks work the way they do for almost no return at all. It is heartbreaking. The rice, uh, we'll carry on farming rice, um, but uh, what we'll do, we'll farm enough just for us to live on. But no complaints, because we've made some massive progress. We really have, you know, and again, it's all thanks to you guys. Um, you know, <coughs> you guys have supported our, our vlog and, uh, you know, watching and, and donating and, and it's just been incredible. It really has and it's made a massive difference to our lives. So thank you very, very much, everybody. It's really, really good. And I'm very, very optimistic that we're going to do okay out of the new fish pond. They certainly are growing and growing at a good rate and uh, they're nice and healthy, nice and plump. I'm almost tempted to catch one or two and... Uh, cook them up and see what they taste like. I should imagine they're absolutely delicious. They are, tilapia are a nice fish to eat, they really are. Well, Pi's mum and dad have got some friends coming over to the farm today. So we're in the shack and uh, Pi's just butchering up a pig's head and then it will be cooked. It's already been blanched, which makes it uh, easier to get the skin off, but uh, she knows what she's doing, didn't you? They've got some pig trotters as well, which are quite nice. And uh, Dan actually uh, cooked up a couple of chickens this morning as well. Cool, isn't it? Well, guys, it's bungfire day. Yes, this is where they're going to set off those rockets and they're making a load of them right now. So this should be really good. Now, they're going to have a bit of a competition. So it's a case of individuals making rockets and then see which one of them goes the highest. This should be a good crack. But look at the size of some of these rockets. This one is enormous. Look at the size of that, guys. Now, this is what Fan was trying to make the other day, but uh, a really small one. But these guys don't mess about. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, mate, Lou. Oh. Oh. 
The locals really, really like it. This fella here is my next door neighbour. He's the guy that uh, makes the chicken cages. And they're all down there making these rockets, look. I oh, can't wait till they go up. I only saw the one during the Songkhan Festival and that was fantastic. So watching a load of them go up, this is going to be a real treat. I can't wait. I'm like a big kid when it comes to anything like this. I just love it. Pai said this is going to be quite a spectacle. So uh, yeah, good fun, eh? The Mekon's looking really, really nice this morning. Really hot out here though. It is a pretty location though, isn't it? They got a nice tent up there and I'm going to go and sit up there and watch the rockets. Well, they're testing some really small little bung fire at the moment. We'll see how these ones go. They're little tiny things. A little pop and that's it. Here it goes. Oh, there you go. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool, isn't it? That's it. That's a show over. Unbelievably good. Wait for the big ones to go up though. There's some of you all say, oh, and there should be lots of them today. Oh, they're going to let another one off. Hold on a second. Let's not miss out on the small bump fire. Outstanding, just outstanding. Now the guys down here have got a huge bung fire. Yeah, that's gonna go on that um, support there, the launch pad. As you can see their launch pad is slightly more complex than FAM had. Don't ask me, I honestly don't know what altitude these things can reach. But it's got to be a few hundred feet. Well, it looks like the guys at the uh, riverbank are just about ready to launch. Just under final preparations now. Now, last time I was here and they set one of these off, uh, I got a little bit too close. And Pi said to me, you're standing too close. It, it, sometimes they do explode, so you need to keep your distance. So uh, I'm going to heed her warning this time and do it from the safety of this balcony. Yep, it looks like they're. Yep, he's giving the thumbs up. Oh. Song. Nung. Oh. Unbelievable. That's such a good crack. That's just unbelievable. The noise, the smell of the gunpowder and everything. And that, uh, yeah, that went quite a way up. All that smoke is uh, a bit much. <laughs> and that, guys, is what uh, Little Fan was trying to achieve with his little rocket. <laughs> well, as you can see, the fella down there, he's already well and truly in the party mood. He's just having a great time. Now that one was a cracker. I mean, that went really, really high. Critical update on the uh, last rocket. It was actually in the air for two minutes and one second. That's pretty good going. So uh, yeah, it's definitely a contender. Well, I just asked how they're gonna determine who the winner is. Um, I thought it was done by height and uh, it's not. It's done by time. So how much time it spends in the air. So, and that one, that last one was up there for quite a while. So. Uh, yeah, that's uh, definitely a contender, I think. Well, it looks like uh, we're getting ready for another one now. The competition's heating up. Yep. Now, this is one of our neighbours. This is his rocket. Here we go. There's a lot of smoke, but there's no, no lift off. Oh, got it.
Well, that one caught fire on the uh, launch pad, so uh, it's a no-go. No-go launch. <laughs> well, it looks like uh, we're ready to go again with the next one. Oh, that one went a treat. Uh, that was pretty high. That's going to be up in the air for quite a while. Well, it looks like we're ready to go again. Yep. Here we go. What can I say? It's just great entertainment. Absolutely brilliant. That one went as well. Very happy. Well, we're due to set another one off, but it looks like there's a technical difficulty. Yes, it looks like they're gonna delay the launch. There's a guy climbing back up the uh, scaffolding now. I have to say, it's been a fantastic day. I just love anything like this. And it does bring the entire community together. As you can see, everybody's here. One of the nicest things for me, being a foreigner here, um, I'm not treated like an outsider. They treat me like one of their own. They give you the shirt off their own back. Their last cup of water. They really are gracious people. And it's a privilege to live here, it really is. These are such a great bunch of people. Well, we just have to wait now and uh, see if they can fix the, uh, the difficulty. And then launch this one. <laughs> Well, that went a treat. It was uh, well worth waiting for. That technical difficulty was resolved and they had lived off. Outstanding, isn't it? You can really feel the force, even from this distance you can feel it. It's uh, really, really cool. <laughs> oh, they sure are fast. Well, from Pai and I, that's all today. Uh, we've got to get back, see about some dinner for fam, and then off to the farm and uh, sort out all the animals. Thank you very much for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. The rockets were quite fantastic. I certainly loved it. Remember, whatever you do, have a fantastic day and stay safe. And we will see you tomorrow. Bye for now, guys.